Looks like we can put a check mark in the idiot column for me. Let me show you how dumb so I am. So it's time to announce the giveaway winners for the speakers. Yo, 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 ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, welcome back to the channel for another video. Unfortunately, there is no install video this week. I've been doing a lot of those. More to come, don't worry about that. There'll be another install next week. But in today's video, I asked you a question on my community tab. Do you have any questions for me, personal or car related? Well, we're gonna answer those questions today. And I am at one of my favorite places in Central PA, the Susquehanna River, right here by the Rockville Bridge. I love it here. As you can see, there's some guys back here fishing, watching me <laughs> do this, which is pretty funny. So the first thing you guys asked me was, hey Miller, what do you do for a living? Well, I am the operations manager at America's Auto Auction Harrisburg. And here is one reason why I love my job. We get some really cool cars like that from time to time, and it is so much fun being on the block selling a hundred and ten thousand dollar Mercedes. How often do you get to do that? It's it's just so much fun. In fact, I think we sold a forklift for like hundred thirty six thousand dollars today. Ridiculous. So if you guys want more of those auction videos, let me know in the comments below. I can do it every Thursday for you if you want. I did do a couple uh, previously, not many views, so I kind of stopped. But if that's something you guys are interested in seeing, now it would only be really cool cars. Let me know in the comments. So let me update you on some things quick. Some of you have asked me how the Ofer lip is holding up. Well, I'm having the same issue that I have been having. And a lot of you are still having that issue too. Now, I even used a bonding agent and it's pulling away. So what I'm gonna do, one more time, I'm gonna take it off, I'm gonna redo it again. And if that doesn't work, I'm gonna screw it on. And we got the train. And a lot of you have asked me, Miller, why'd you start YouTube? Well, I started YouTube because I couldn't find any good installation videos on my 10th gen Civic. I went crazy on my FK7. I dumped about 15 grand in it. It was a lot of fun, I'm not gonna lie, but I couldn't find a great installation video. One that was informative, told you everything. So I decided to make them myself. And that's one of the greatest comments I get on my installation videos for the sport. How in depth I go. And I do that because I want to make a good installation video. And I thank you guys for all your wonderful comments, all your likes, I greatly appreciate it. And oh yeah, by the way, we'll get to the speaker giveaway here at the end of the video, so make sure to stay tuned for that. I still have not received my new DRLs yet. It's kind of frustrating. I thought they'd be here by now. I wanted to get them installed for you guys so I could show you what it looks like with the fog lights and the DRLs at the same time. Some of you have already sent me your pictures on IG of your installation, which I greatly appreciate that. If you want to send me your build on IG, here's mine right here. Go ahead, send me a message. I love looking into your builds. It, it's a highlight of my day. I probably get one or two of you a week sending me them. And it's awesome. I, I greatly appreciate it. I love the commenting back and forth we do. It makes me feel so good that people are reaching out to me and want to know what I think of their builds. It, it means a lot. So you guys left me a lot of comments. We got a lot to go over. So let's not waste any more time and jump right into it. Peanut Butter Jelly asked me which one I like driving more around town. And to answer your other question, the suspension is just a tad bit stiffer and it's not even really noticeable. I'll tell you what, I must be a magician because the very next morning, look what showed up, the DRLs. So I'm gonna remove this bumper, hopefully for the final time because this is gonna be number five, I think. But while I have it off, Blackout asked me a question on Instagram on how to remove some of the trim panels. I'm not gonna physically do it, but I will show you the tabs you need to do to push it out. 
I could take this bumper off in eight minutes now. Let me know in the comments if that's a record. So let me show you what I was talking about. The upper grill has a push clip here and a push clip here on the other side. Then there are six screws here. I'm not sure if you need to take them out, but I would take them out just to be safe. And then there's a bunch of tabs right here. Then take your flathead screwdriver, lift it up. There's a tooth there. Lift that tooth up, and then you can just pull it back out. Now for the bottom one, there's no screw holding it in. There's no clips. The only thing holding it in is these tabs. And each tab has a tooth, so you're going to do the same thing that you did with the top with the bottom. Lift up the tooth, pull back on the grill, and it'll come out. So I hope that helps you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like on this video. Looks like we can put a check mark in the idiot column for me. Let me show you how dumb I am. I had these taped up. Well, when I put the fog lights in, the wire must have got stretched so far that it unhooked. And it only unhooked by a very little bit because I pulled on this and I noticed that there was a big gap there. And I'm like, oh, Jason, you're an idiot. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to fix that connection. I'm going to hook it back up to the car. And if it works, well, it looks like I'm giving away a set of DRLs. So make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video for that. And while I have the bumper off, I might as well take care of my Yofer issue right now. So I'm just going to drill two screws, one on either side. That way I don't have that problem with it popping off the side. My Yofer issue has been resolved. I'm gonna put a stainless steel screw in in a couple days. The ones I put in were just the ones laying around from removing the side skirts a week ago. I gotta hook these DRLs up, make sure they work. That way I can give that other set to one of you. I had to open up the door, it's really nice out. It's like 65 degrees, couldn't have it any other way. But I did find another set of screws and they're almost like factory. I'll show you real quick. Not sure why I didn't show you the valve opening and closing on the Speed Lab video, so here you go. Some of you have asked me how the rear spoiler is holding up. It's holding up just fine. No issues, not coming up on either end either. Now there is one thing though, the roof spoiler has slid just a hair on the driver's side. If it gets any worse, I'm gonna end up pulling that off and redoing that, which that's really easy. That's the easiest install on this whole car, other than the louvers which I never made an install video on these just because you just pull the backing off three pieces of tape and stick it on there. It's pretty self-explanatory really. And I didn't for those either. Reason being is they went on the same as the side skirts. Four screws, no issues. Ruben, here's a picture of the rear diffuser I want. It's 1600 bucks with $600 shipping. So I'm gonna wait until it gets a lot cheaper. But as far as exhaust tips, I saw a post from PRL stating they're making an exhaust for the 1.5T, the SI, and the 2.0 liter. So I will definitely be getting the PRL exhaust. And it's a single can, not a dual can, single. Logs, you asked me if I could do an overview of all my mods. I might do that eventually here in the future because there's a lot to go over. It would probably be a 45 minute long video. But what you can do is you can click right here. They are all right here. Go watch them and then come back and finish this video. Joel Garcia asked me how the Yofer lip's holding up. Well, Joel, I hope I answered your question right there. And then your other question is, is there any scraping? I have never scraped anything. I go over two speed bumps to get into each location at work. I haven't scraped yet, but I'll let you know if it happens. Xander asked me where I got my Yofer kit from. I got the lip and the side skirts, both off eBay. All my links for all my mods are in the description. Solomon Job asked me if I plan on installing parking sensors. No, sir. Emma FPV asked me if all my rear bumper mods will fit on a hatch. They might, but you gotta check the description of the part before you order just to make sure that they're not just for the sedan. Some of them probably will, but some of them won't. So make sure to do that before you buy. Oski Susky asked me where he could find a good spoiler. Well, I got mine off Spoiler King, or you can go to eBay, there's quite a few out there. Hey Dennis, it's not too bad, brother.
Doesn't really bang at all. A lot of you are wondering about my miles per gallon. Here you go. And then here's what I'm getting in the Type R. There's about a five mile difference between the cars. There's moderate road noise. I know a couple of you asked me about that too. Um, it's not too bad, but it's not that great either. I normally drive around, <laughs> I usually drive around in normal mode. Occasionally I'll throw it into sport for fun, uh, but usually it's normal mode and that's where I'm getting my miles per gallon. I very rarely do any highway driving. I haven't taken it on a trip yet. Uh, I'm hoping to do that in May. I'm going to Boston. So if you guys live in Boston, I'll be up around that way. Maybe we can hook up and meet up one night. But I'm not sure if I'll be in this car or the R. I'm not sure. Just incredible. Unfortunately, brother, I don't think there's going to be a temp gauge other than the Tourings. We just get that little blue light. I bet you, though, the 23 models will have them. If I had to guess, I'd almost put money on it. Honda puts it in the 23s just because of everybody griping about it. Believe me, I'm one of them. Terminally Chill asked me how I keep my car clean in the wintertime. I use Meguiar's washing wax. And then I use the chemical guys, hyper ceramic spray wax. And then every six months, I'll throw in a coat of the ceramic wax, which this stuff is amazing. To keep swirls out, make sure to use clean microfiber towels. Andrew Benia asked how I fix touch-ups. Go to your local dealer, get a touch-up pen. It'll cost roughly 13, 15 bucks. Give them your paint code, or really you can just tell them the year and make a model and they'll know. But in case you don't know, here's where your paint code is. Right here. Adrian Armenta wrote a pretty long one, so I'm gonna read that one. Hey bro, greetings from Mexico. I have a 2022 Touring Civic, and here it came with some features like the start-stop button. Can that be added later and programmed? Here gas is $1.50 per liter, and also the heated rear view mirrors can be added or maybe the heated seats. It's really weird we're getting the car in the same price than in the States, but we don't get the same trim level even when the version is the same. Well, Adrian, um, good question. I'm not sure why, I mean, we don't get the fog lights and apparently Canada does. I don't understand that either. Um, as far as adding those options, I'm sure you will be able to, maybe not right this minute, but down the road, most likely. If I was you, I wouldn't put that start stop button in there it's annoying. I hate it. All of us hate it. Don't do it. Just don't do that. Okay? Don't do that, Adrian. Don't do it. Don't do it. And as far as gas prices go, I'm paying like five bucks now. It's ridiculous. I don't know what that breaks down in the liters that we do gallons in, in the States. Um, but either way, $1.50 a liter isn't that much either. So I feel your pain there, brother. A lot of you asked me about the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Unfortunately, I don't have that, so I can't comment on that. But what I do have is that Bluetooth issue most of you are having, and I think I have a solution for you, and I'll tell you at the end of the video. Hey Air, I can't help you out with the heated seats, my man. I don't have any. Hey, if you're watching this video and you're having a problem with your heated seats, like they turn off randomly, let Air know in the comments below. He, I think he'd appreciate it. Hey Red Eyes Black Ninja. Yeah, man. Yep. You gotta turn that thing off every time. Most of us hate it. Me, personally, I can't stand it. There is a bypass for it. You could put it on there, but if you have an issue with that button, it's gonna void your warranty. I'd recommend to do it after your warranty's up. Hey, Jake, and for all of you, Jake is a previous winner of a giveaway, so thank you, sir. But Jake asked me about windshield washer fluid light. Have any of you? Leave a comment down below and let Jake know if you have. I have not seen one yet, brother. Carlos wants to know how to use the paddle shifters. You know, in this car, you don't really need them. I'd only really use it if I was in a braking situation, but you can go up and down. It's, it's not a problem. Like here, I'll show you real quick. There, just down in second. To use these paddles a little more often.
second. I'm so used to lifting my foot because of the clutch when I shift. Hope that answers your question, Carlos. Brandon A asked me if I could have any other maker model in the same price range, what would I get? I'd probably have to say a WRX. If anything, it would probably be a WRX or an Acura, which we might talk about in the future, possibly. Maybe in the future we'll talk about that. Ray G asked me how I got this beautiful car. Well, Ray G, I actually made two videos about that. You can start with this one right here. Make sure to go back and watch that and come back and finish this video. But man, look at her. Isn't she beautiful when she's all cleaned up? I mean, that gopher lip and side skirts really make it pop. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Hey Joshua Razo, I have no issues with the build quality of my Civic. For all of you wondering, yes, I am going to put iBox springs on this. Most likely the Sportline kit. I just want it to come down a little bit and I'm looking at wheels right now. I haven't pulled the trigger yet. I'm not sure which ones I want. Once I narrow it down to about two or three, I'll let you guys know in the community tab and maybe we'll see which ones you like the best. Maybe that's the ones I'll go with. So Kelvin R wants to know about my experience with this car. Calvin, I can actually honestly tell you, this car is wonderful. Yeah, would I have liked the touring, a sunroof, and some of the other options, the Android Auto, the CarPlay, of course. But I don't think it's worth the extra money. For me, I don't think it's worth that. Because honestly, I have all that in my Type R. So I'm not too worried about it. But maybe in my next car, I might have that stuff. A.E. Silvestre asked me if I'm going to paint my brake calipers. If I do, it'll probably be blue. And Bon asked me if I plan on selling my car in the near future. I also had a question if I would trade this up for the new 11th Gen Type R. Well, in fact, that's probably exactly what I'm gonna do. Or I might go after the Acura A-Spec. Let me know in the comments below which one I should go with. I already have a Type R, but would you rather me trade this up for an A-Spec Integra? Let me know. Okay, now for the big one. I hear about it all the time. Why is my Bluetooth cutting out? Well, I think I know why. If you're hooked up to your car, your phone's in your pocket, you gotta get out of the car, and you walk too far away, and it cuts out and loses connection, I'm thinking that's the problem. It's been happening to me a lot, and I think I figured out how to fix it. Number one, you gotta go into your paired devices and delete your phone out of the car. And then all you gotta do is pair it back in. But this time, don't go so far away from your car or leave your phone in your car so you don't lose connection. So I think that's the problem. I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't hold me to it. But it's been working for me so far and I recommend you to do the same. This is just the DRLs and the headlights. Fog lights, no fog lights. Fog lights, no fog lights.
fog lights? No fog lights. Fog lights. What a big difference these DRLs make. Fog lights are great, but those DRLs make a big difference. I highly recommend them. Not gonna lie, ours looking sexy too. Man, she looks sexy at night, doesn't she, under the lights? Oh my goodness. So it's time to announce the giveaway winners for the speakers. The five and a quarters, Eric Parker, my friend, congratulations. And for the six by nines, Shady Shady. Congratulations, my man. I need both of you to send me a message on IG or Facebook. I need your contact information, and I'll send them to you as fast as I can. Now, if you're interested in winning a set of DRLs, you gotta be a subscriber, you gotta leave a like on this video, and leave a comment saying, Miller, why so stupid? Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like rating. And if you enjoy most of my content, feel free to click right here. And as always, this was your boy Miller. I'll see you in the next one. Ruben, here's a picture. <laughs> Every time, I swear to God. At least it's only 11 o'clock.